What's up, YouTube? Sitting here chewing on some some Levi Garrett. That's good dip. Chewing tobacco, whatever you want to call it. Hmm. Shout out to Outlaw, Jesse Ryan, Fat Boy. Yeah. Well, getting my phone charged up so I can uh, film a cooking video. Probably about to make the tastiest goddamn bacon cheeseburger I've ever had in my life. Hard to say. Yeah, this dip's about done. Mm. Speaking of dip, now I've shared this story before on on uh, social media, but I'm going to share it again. I'm going to pop that lid off. There we go. Yeah, buddy. Uh, so the story I want to share with you, um, uh, grab my uh, CBD oil here, my beer. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I've been sipping on this, on this uh, Yeti. For a minute it's not bad pretty tasty the bitter taste though might be an acquired taste for some but I like it it's not one I'd buy all the time just because of how expensive it is but mm. working on fixing my buddy Rasta Jeremy staff and, um, oh yeah, it look nice. I'll let that glue dry overnight, and then tomorrow I'll be trimming the excess off the leather. Because I put just a little bit of leather and copper underneath the crystal. And it looks good. When Jeremy brought me back his uh, Rasta staff and he said the crystal fell out, I'm like, well, that sucks. And then when I stopped to see why that could have been, I'm like, well, that makes perfect sense. <clears throat> so I fixed, hopefully I fixed the issue. <clears throat> but anyways, back to the story. I was riding my bike to the C85 liquor store over by Conoco in North Casper. And I, I didn't have enough money for a beer, so I'm like, eh, it's whatever. I was going to a friend's house at the time anyways, and um, freaking, yeah. Sitting there, I was sitting on my bike Dipping a fat chaw, a very fat chaw of Red Man Chew. And I didn't have a can or a bottle with me. So, oh, I didn't have a can or a bottle with me, so I was spitting on the ground. And as I'm riding away from the liquor store, I heard a woman shout, You're fucking disgusting. At first, I had no idea who she was talking to. 
But then as I'm riding my bike down the sidewalk, she has the nerve to pull up next to me in her car on the street and starts cussing me out in front of her kid. So I called her a cunt, flipped her off, and drove away. And she drove away too. Now here's the thing of it. You don't have to like chew. You don't have to think anything good about it if you don't want to. If you think chewing is gross, that's your opinion. You're entitled to it. But driving up to someone who has autism and just start yelling at them in the middle of the street, you know, that's... That's where I have a problem with it, you two. What I should have done was gotten off my bike and spat on her car just to prove a point. Well, I told my friends that story, that they're like, you should have spat on her car, that would have been funny as fuck. And I'm like, it would have been, but it would have been too far. Sometimes when you're dealing with haters, your best option is to take the high road. Because in the end, they're just there to start shit with you. What the fuck are you doing with your life? You know, kind of thing. And it's like, you know, sometimes it's just not worth responding. You know, I, I get so many fucking hate comments on my channel, it's, it's not even funny. Um, and if the comment's too mean, then I just block them from my channel if I don't like what they have to say. I'll remove it if it's obnoxious but if it's like downright just mean and completely stupid and dumb then of course it's gonna get deleted from my channel and it doesn't matter how much you beg and plead they're never gonna stop your trolls are never gonna stop so neither do you you know nothing will piss my trolls off more than watching me succeed and watching me continue to make videos it drives them fucking insane and they wait patiently for every video to drop just so they can dislike it it's kind of sad actually Excuse me. Well, looking back on it now, I mean, that, that, that incident that I speak of with the lady yelling at me about my dipping, um, honestly, that happened a couple months ago. That, that happened last year, you know? And the only reason I remember it is because I have a good memory for things like that. Now, people would tell you, okay, if you're, if you're getting harassed on the internet, you don't like it, so turn off the computer, go outside if you can, you know. But what happens when you go outside and you get fucked with in the real world, too, you know? And I'm not the only one that gets bullied here, but I'm just saying. Now, lately, I haven't gotten too many hate comments these last couple of days. <laughs> I was riding my bike to the CY liquor store to get an 18 pack of Rolling Rock and I just got done putting it in my messenger bag I got my messenger bag hanging off the side and lo and behold YouTube lo and behold some jerk off was in the um, 
was in the drive-thru of the CY liquor store, and he saw me, and he shouted, King Cobra's a bald pussy. And I just looked at him and smirked and kept on driving. I'm like, says the guy who's sitting in his car. And that's just, you know, a lot of these people, when they talk shit to me here in town, they do it from the comfort of their car. And you look real big and bad and tough talking shit driving away in your car, let me tell you. They know they can't legally hit me because I'm autistic. If they hit me, that's a federal offense. All they can do is sit there and talk shit. And I think it's hilarious. Now, quite literally, I could be doing nothing but riding my bike, minding my own business, running some errands. And uh, people got to fuck with me. I don't, um, I don't quite understand why they do it. Because they're jealous of me, I guess. I don't know. And that's the thing of it, YouTube. Confidence scares people. And when they see someone who's not afraid to be themselves, they're just like, it, it triggers them. They're like, who is this goth asshole to have so much confidence in who he is? The bigger question is, who the fuck are you for judging me? You know? I, I don't go out of my way to harass people or judge them, but they love doing it to me. And I don't know why. You know, I honestly do not know why. bigger question is, if you don't like people, you know, why are you being a jerk off to them? My body is just not used to vaping. It's like, it's 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 screaming at me. What are you doing? This this isn't natural. <laughs> now, I still smoke cigarettes, but honestly, I've cut down on my cigarettes just because they last longer. I can enjoy them more that way. You know. gets to the point where I'm having I'm also, unless I'm around people who smoke I don't know you know no, incidents like the one I talked about stick out in my mind, particularly because, you know, it makes you ask the question, what the fuck is wrong with people? You know, that lady had every right to think that chewing is gross, but her behavior towards me was just as gross, if you ask me. Um, but anyways, YouTube, thanks for watching the night video. I'll catch you cool cobras later. Um, I don't know what time is it? Almost nine o'clock. Ooh-wee.
So yeah, I guess we'll uh, we'll get on it.